Ladies and gentlemen, I am back with you. This is Reds. We are here with some more of that Space Marines. Picking up where we left off, just inside the security central chamber, security center thingy, majigger. Upgrading Fury again. Just eight, so I am quite content. Ready to do some more commentary, knock the stuff out. I'm afraid they were the only thing keeping the orcs outside, however. But you will be able to fire the weapon. Indeed. We had better do so quickly. This place will be awash with orcs before long. Of course. Security systems disabled. Authorization recognized. Releasing safeguards. Please proceed to the generator room. Alright, so we have turned off the security systems. And as you can see, it doesn't take long. Orcs are already in there. Causing havoc, breaking stuff, just being a general nuisance like they are. But thankfully, I have the cure for the orc problem, the thunder hammer. Just destroying every orc ever conceived. Even the little goblins. Close up guys, dodge them. It'd be nice if you could do like a quick time animation and hit those back at an, a group of orcs. That would be pretty cool. Place the canister into his cradle inside the power core, Captain. Do we risk exposure again? Only if you drop the canister. Tootsies. Ah, very good, Captain. Your time carrying my power sword. So we have unleashed the power source into this supposedly ultimate weapon. Things are going to happen. I don't know what. But we will find out together. What do you need me to do, Inquisitor? We'll need to manually restart the array alignment. Forcibly, if you must. Where? In the firing chamber. Board the lift, Ultramarines. Hmm. He was very excited about that. So angry. The alignment process did not get started. We need to do it forcibly. So, yet again, we ride an elevator. Seems to be a lot of elevators in this world. Well, it is a forge world, so I guess it makes sense. Hurry. The down orcs have cut the main conduits to the firing tower. You must reconnect the conduits, Captain, or we're facing an overload that will rip this planet apart. Understood. <laughs> Hope nobody gets motion sick. I don't know why I did that. I'm regretting doing that now. But the orcs causing all kinds of problems. Now I gotta realign this thing and repair some sabotage. They will definitely feel my wrath. Oh. No mercy. Oh, okay, I know where we're at. Very cool. <clears throat> we're gonna see some things today, people. It's good times. All right, we in there. Prepared some sabotage. That was easy. Now we need to realign. The conduits are reconnected. Now, proceed to the main control panel. Fire the psychic scourge. I don't know why, but it was my instinct that I didn't act on uh, to say that with a Sean Connery-esque accent. Just doesn't. Not a thing that I would do. Maybe if I had a few drinks, I would do it. But there's gonna be a cutscene here, so I'll let the game do its thing. Look at the spire. <laughs> I was like, nope, don't want none of that. I'm gonna keep shooting. You got something of mine. 
<laughs> Dropping all my grenades on this fool. Why didn't it work? Damn that Drogon! Never trust the Inquisition! Stand fast, Ultramarines. We can handle a few things. Space Marine! Was that supposed to hurt? <laughs> Inquisitor! Get back! servant did all that I hoped and more. But he would never have succeeded without you, Captain Titus. Thanks to these brave space marines, we have broken through to this reality. impressed my servant to no end. Ah, you think the Inquisitor a traitor. The Drogon has been dead since before you first met. You have been used by my puppet of flesh and bone. Ah! Ah! Why are it so easy to kill? So that was a whole lot of information. But you gotta love the orcs, he's just like, nope, you ain't getting rid of me. Uh, essentially what happened, the Inquisitor has been dead this whole time, and he's been acting as an agent of chaos in order to get us to do all this stuff to bring uh, 
the main bad guy into our dimension. And we just played along, not knowingly unleashing this guy. The more, more, more curious thing is that Titus is able to resist uh, his touch and that of the warp, which is going to be interesting to see how that develops. It's, uh, from what I've seen, the Empire and the Chaos are very... Uh, well, the Empire, at least, is similar to, like, Did you could say... Uh, like a, a fanatical invasion? religion. So if you have any dealings with what they're opposing, they will just kind of shut you down. So Titus having that resistance brings about a lot of issues, I would guess. So we'll see how that develops. Most of this episode was that cutscene. So we'll see what else, what other trouble we can get into. I have a feeling from now on, well I know, because we beat the game, but we'll be fighting more of those Chaos Demons the whole way, and more troops as it develops. It certainly does change the dynamic. It gets a, a lot more challenging from that point on, because we've essentially doubled uh, our count of enemies, and the enemies that we've unleashed are stronger than the regular orcs. So it does become quite an issue. But it's okay. Because we can deal with it. We're space marines. The uh, the demons don't seem to be quite a problem <coughs> as long as the thunder mace is involved. But otherwise, it can be an issue. Heroes tempted just to kind of let them fight it out and see if they would eventually kill each other, or just like thin the opponents down. But then I thought, no, that'd be boring. Let's just go in. And through this little part, I was trying to pick up the demon swords. Because those, I think, would be <laughs> pretty good. At least as good, if not better than the, the axe. And it would be something different. That was the main reason. Just to find some, something fresh, something new. You never know. But, sadly, the swords disappear when the enemy disappears. So, cannot use them. I was finding out the uh, finish animations, too. That's why you'll see me like purposely try and stun some, other than to get health back, just to see the finish animations. Demons can be really dangerous if you get a lot of them on you at the same time. You, uh, Keep moving. lose quite a bit of health. They your sheer, go through your shield pretty quickly. So. But we are advancing the story. We don't... I don't know how many episodes we have left. I have up to 24 ready. Um, 22 through 24 are live commentaries. That game. It's getting so you just a heads up on that one and I'll, in 21 I'll say that as well. But I should have all of those up pretty soon. We use Invictus to sever the orbital spine. It's time we use the power source to our advantage. To supercharge Invictus. We need to reach that Titan. Okay, so plan for the time being is to use the power source on the Titan to destroy them. But I'm going to go ahead and begin to wrap up this episode as it gets cut here pretty soon. Um, look forward for more. We should have some more episodes up recent or here soon. Uh, we got Arkham City coming very soon. Look forward to that. Check out X-Men Destiny and Spider-Man Edge of Time. My name is Shreds. Thanks for tuning in. We will catch you all in the near future.